From the Comedy Connection at Faneuil Hall in Boston, it's another Comcast original. Comcast Comedy Spotlight, brought to you by Sierra Mist. Tonight, get ready for two of the hottest acts in the business, Rob Brackenridge and Brian Kellen. But first, your host, Pablo Francisco. What's up? Confident, aware, secure, a little anxious, and uh, hungry. Welcome back to Comcast Comedy Spotlight, brought to you by Sierra Mist. I'm Pablo Francisco. All right, our next comedian has to be seen on Comedy Central and heard on the, the Bob and Tom radio show and just got back performing in, in Afghanistan. Please welcome Rob Brackenridge. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> Apparently a few people are feeling, woo! <laughs> Only in a comedy club will you answer the question, how are you doing with, woo! Right? You never go up to the guy in the street, hey Bill, how are you doing? Woo! <laughs> I guess the rash cleared up. <laughs> Comedians are always trying to make you clap right off the bat. Even before they do anything. Have you noticed that? They're always like, hey, who's in a good mood? You know, and they expect you guys to clap like trained seals. <laughs> I don't think you need that kind of pressure, huh? <laughs> Just by applause, how many agree? <laughs> a couple of you are like, ah, screw you. <laughs> Cla clapping's a weird thing to do, though, isn't it? <laughs> Some guy had to invent that, right? A long time ago, some guy went, oh, I really like what that guy just did. I think I'll slap two parts of my body together. <laughs> These will do. <laughs> it's just, it's a conditioned response, right? It's like it's learned behavior. We're just victims of our upbringing, aren't we? And I know about being a victim. <laughs> oh yeah, my people have been victimized for years. We've been put down, we've been shunned, made fun of. Anyone else here from Wisconsin? <laughs> It is wrong to raise children in Wisconsin, okay? <laughs> it is. It gets to be 50 degrees below zero. This is Earth. <laughs> it's not supposed to hurt to breathe, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure our testicles were never meant to contract past here, okay? <laughs> Sorry you had to see that image. <laughs> and I, I try to explain winter to people who have never seen it, like black ice. You guys know what black ice is, right? I try to explain to people in LA, black ice, oh, the most dangerous part about winter. See black ice? Go the other way. You don't want to be around black ice? They thought I was saying black guys. <laughs> I, I look like Trent Lott to those people. <laughs> but we're not prejudiced in Wisconsin for crazy. <laughs> oh, no, we're just little cuddly people from the movie Fargo. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure, you betcha. <laughs> so you're a black fella, are ya? How's that working out for ya? <laughs> it's just embarrassing. I mean, everyone knows one of those guys from Wisconsin with the big beer gut, you know? <laughs> his fingers look like bratwursts. <laughs> you shake his hand, you get hungry. Mm. <laughs> they always talk like they're holding in a hit of pot, too, you know? If you wanna do a Wisconsin accent, just pretend you got a big fatty, you're like, <sighs> yeah, the other day, <laughs> <laughs> the other day I was out in my boat with my nephews, the both of them side by each. <laughs> That accent actually comes from Germany. You know, German people settled in Wisconsin. That's gotta be the least sexy language in the world, isn't it? <laughs> German? That's where I love you is ich liebe dich. <laughs> Same to you, I guess. It's not sexy if you gotta wipe the other person's spit off your face, right? <laughs> Can you tell I got the Wisconsin accent a little bit? A little bit? Oh, yeah. yeah, nasally. Everything I say sounds like a game show buzzer. <laughs> Thanks. And my parents named me Rob Brackenridge. <laughs> That's messed up, isn't it? That sounds like a flock of geese. Rob Brackenridge. <laughs> ah, flack. <laughs> I don't really have the accent as bad as most of my buddies. Most of them suffer from what I call the Erno factor, right? They're like, you guys coming with Erno? <laughs> <laughs> you guys have sopper Erno? and stay away from the Wisconsin Shakespeare Festival. <laughs> That's just embarrassing, eh? They're like, to be or no? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you 
<laughs> yeah, forget about that iambic pentameter. These tights are crawling up my pooper here. <laughs> this is not a sexy way to talk. There's a lot of sexier accents out there, right, ladies? You know, like Italian. Women, they love that. It doesn't even matter what the Italian guy says. He's like, oh, you're so stupid and boring and fat. <laughs> She's like, oh, Guido, ah! <laughs> you can't get away with that with a Wisconsin accent, right? That's the last thing you want to hear when you're done having sex is, oh, crazy, she's rigging around there like a walleye on a $3 lure. <laughs> so, you calm or no? You made that one face. I thought you're all done. <laughs> all right, two for two. You know? <laughs> it's, it's not just humans. It's like in the bird world. Certain birds have nice melodic sounding mating calls, you know, like. <laughs> That's the throat wobbler mangrove. <laughs> that little bastard gets laid constantly. <laughs> Always rebuilding the nest, if you know what I'm saying. Huh? <laughs> That would be like the Italian. The Wisconsin accent in the bird world would have to be more, I guess, like the crow. The crow has got to be the least laid bird in the bird world. His call actually admits defeat, right? It's like, y you mean you're not coming back to my nest? <laughs> ah! <laughs> then he goes and eats dead stuff by the side of the road. Uh, why I like going back to Wisconsin, though, because I go back there. I'm actually considered to be a hottie. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be funny. <laughs> I go back to L.A., they put me right back in my place. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> you got to be perfect in L.A. You got to either be a Barbie doll or a Ken doll. <laughs> you know, there's very few Ari Fleischer dolls. <laughs> I, <laughs> I feel sorry for women with small breasts in Los Angeles. They actually get to have handicapped parking stickers. If you're bald in L.A., you know, they try to make you take a pill. That's their solution, take a pill, and then you read the box, may cause erectile dysfunction. Oh, there's a good trade-off. <laughs> then if you're too fat, you're supposed to eat that fat substitute called Olestra. That causes loose bowels. Now you gotta decide whether you wanna be a bald fat guy or an incontinent eunuch. <laughs> I suppose if I was an incontinent eunuch, I could always take Viagra and Metamucil those cause hair loss and weight gain. <laughs> and I'd just be a bald fat guy with no money. <laughs> and that drives the chicks wild. <laughs> but it's not our fault that we're fat in Wisconsin, our diet. We, we're all raised on a diet of beer, cheese, and Slim Jims. <laughs> when it gets to be summertime, it shows what it does to your body. You see these people walking around Wisconsin with these huge beer guts, and the men are worse. <laughs> I wish I was making this up. <laughs> We're proud of it, too. My uncle used to tell me, oh, Grace, Rob, finish up your double fudge brownie delight. Don't you want to grow up to be big and fat and cut out of the house by the paramedics like your dad, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the Slim Jims, you guys eat Slim Jims? Do you ever read the ingredients? <laughs> it says it right on there, beef lips. <laughs> beef lips. Do you realize that somewhere there's a cow out in a field right now going? <laughs> hey! I can't even know any nor. No. Oh. You know, first I pulled on my <laughs> and I ripped off my lip. <laughs> Just so they gave a snack. Oh. You talk about your NAD cow disease. I'm NAD. <laughs> That's a cow flipping you off right there. <laughs> so you can see why I had to leave Wisconsin. <laughs> I live in Los Angeles now, where it turns out we don't blend over there. It's pretty easy to spot a Wisconsin guy lying down on the beach, you know? We're the ones with the half red, half white tan. <laughs> your arms look like those imitation seafood sticks. Mm. <laughs> I'm trying to use all the noise, too. The car alarms going off all the time. That's one thing I never saw in Wisconsin was car alarms, because for some reason, no one wants to steal a rusted out old 74 gremlin. You know. <laughs> we just leave little notes there. Are you going to take her or no? 
she's a good runner. <laughs> but they got the car alarms going off all the time in LA. And I've been out there so long now, I can't sleep at night without the alarm. <laughs> That's my lullaby. It lulls me to sleep. It's like, What's next? <laughs> That's just so wrong that you know that. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. I'm Rob Brackenridge. See you. Rob Brackenridge. There he is. Shreddy, we'll be right back with more Comcast Comedy Spotlight brought to you by Sharon Mess. We'll be right back. No one threw anything heavy which I'm very happy about. That, and to me, that's a sign of a good set. No heavy stuff, no welts, no blood. Is there any blood? No? 